Yo, what is going on guys? So, back at the shop, it is the weekend. From the last video I said, this weekend we were going to work on getting the Rocket Bunny kit mounted up. Um, we actually did start, really, really pumped about that. We did that last night. Didn't really film anything last night because mainly we were just trying to make sure we knew how to use the Rivsert tool, um, get everything in nicely and everything sit, you know, flush and clean. And we were just test fitting one side so we did actually do the whole passenger side I'll show you in a second but uh, what we did first is this RS hood that's bent um, I'm pretty much I'm not gonna use it because it's just not worth it I took all the scoops out because those are actually worth good money um, but I might just use those on a different well that doesn't matter anyways so took everything out flipped it up and then we were practicing uh, riff serting on the hood so we did is took a drill bit kind of matched it up to the size of uh, these rift certs drilled something in there and then took the riff gun tool rift cert tool and uh, sent them in there really cool I'll show you guys that really quick honestly probably one of my new favorite tools that I have like super super sick I really like it um, something I bought I bought with a kit and I bought a lot of like extra little rift certs too because all of us are kind of thinking of going wide body or something eventually like I'm doing it right now Jake's thinking about it uh, Charles also thinking about it so uh, the thing is like you don't have to just use it for like body kits you can use it for whatever so I'm actually trying to once we start working in the interior I have some ideas I want to get like an aluminum panel or something like that and then have it rift certed on um, maybe like mount the gauge and stuff really cool I don't know I want to use the smaller rift certs to do something cool and tidy up the interior. I think Jake was mentioning for his Fox. So he has this sick, I think it's Street Faction, right? No, maybe not. Scott Road Fab. All right. Anyways, he's got this sick door card replacement. Um, so instead of these, I think these are self tappers. I forget what he said. But what he wants to do is take these out and then use the rev certs and it'll look a lot cleaner. And I mean, it looks good now, but rear certs will definitely clean it up. And I have tons of small ones for that. Also, for his inside, super dark in here, so you can't see. But you might use rear certs somewhere down on the panel or something like that. But that's that. Let me show you guys the kit here. So I got this Hilitichi. Hilitichi? I don't know. Um, so these, this is the Rift Cert kit. Uh, I just got this off Amazon. It was, I forget the price. If I find it, I'll put it in an annotation. But essentially, it comes with all these different kinds of Rift Certs. Gives you a little bit of everything. What we ended up using, that's got this little guide for you too. So all metric stuff. So what I ended up using was these M6s. Uh, they gave us 20 pieces. We used like four or something on the hood over there, and the rest were on the body kit. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, so those are out, but these are super sick. So what you do, here's the tool for it, right? So we have the M6, oops, sorry, the M6 thread on here, and they come with different ones. You can have, you can put on like an M8, an M5, M4, and I think an M3. I don't know, it's hiding. It's an M3 or something like that. But we're using the M6, so you screw it on here, and then you take, let me see if I can put this down. So you have your M6 threads and everything on, right? So you would take, we'll pretend that this is an M6 riff cert, and you would screw it on, right? This would go all the way flush up on top here. And then what you're gonna do is go flat onto wherever you're riff certing onto. So I'm not obviously gonna push on here, but you put it on here then you squeeze and it's a lot of this is just by feel from what Jake and I were kind of messing around with it yesterday just kind of feel it don't go too too tight you don't want this bottom part to like button up or something and it could be just a pain in the ass to get this off and now let's take a look at the body kit so the rocket bunny kit is fully drilled everywhere might have to drill out these holes a little bit uh, a little bit larger but that's really no big deal at all but this is actually held on we have uh, one M6 or something chilling in here. So again, plan is to probably cut 
maybe a little bit higher, like something right here. So let's put like one last screw or something down here and then kind of mold it in, sand it down to make it look super flush and really good. Um, that's that. I think the front, so what we did is just align this front piece and we put this corner marker in. It's at something like this. That piece comes up with the bumper fully up. The bumper mates like perfectly right under and the bumper's also gonna need to be trimmed too. But that's how we align that side. Uh, we'll do the same for that other side too, no biggie. But that's how it looks. She is freaking wide. Like, damn, damn girl. Let's go take a look at the rear here. Rear, same thing. Uh, we're figuring this out too. This is, I mean, this kit's definitely gonna need a lot of sanding for sure. Um, but we're thinking maybe we can get a, another mounting point right here possibly cut and then we'll build a side skirt out of maybe like ABS plastic or something have it mount under so that this isn't just like a gaping hole doing nothing and I can also still build my uh, brake cooling ducts too so we'll see but a lot of good ideas it's just gonna take a lot of work to make this fit really really nice we'll have that um, that trim that black trim that goes all the way around here too to make it look super pro and tidied up um, I am thinking of trying to use something like an allen head for the final finished product but for now we're just using whatever we find um, just to hold it on see how she looks but this is all good drilled it out again with a uh, a big a smaller bit I don't know we use something like this get the pilot hole in there and then send it on with the bigger bit I forget the size off the top of my head but that's what we did. Um, we're gonna have to clean up some of these areas here, like this dip, nothing we can really, really do about that, but we can sand this part down so this sits flush, tucked up a little bit more. Uh, I'll have to work on this body line too. But, I mean, you know, it's for it not being the correct kit and kind of doing a custom Rocket Bunny, I think it's gonna turn out pretty sick. We're all looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing how it looks like finished product and everything but it's sick just looking at it because it's the same color as everything else like so happy about this car being one color again but yeah she is wide you can probably put two stock wheels up against and that's what you need <laughs> so I'll probably end up running some kind of uh, spacer setup but I'm not even close to thinking about like what I'm gonna need to do for that but that's all uh, Probably next time I come in, we'll show a little bit of footage for mounting it, um, drilling out the holes, lining everything up, and then sending it in. That'll be cool. Also have to do some fiberglass work under here. I'll have to flip the hood over. Probably just use those benches over there as like a little table for now. Um, get all underneath down to bare metal. Have to get this down to bare metal too, I guess, again. And lay the fiberglass under. I'm going to poke it up just a tiny bit and then... A little bit of Bondo will be good to go. Same with Thunder here. And that should be it. I will pick you guys up after we get some stuff done. And more than likely, I'll just see you tomorrow. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on, guys? Fuck you. <laughs> uh, so another day. Uh, we're going to get the body kit on the driver's side all put on. Uh, I found some more packets, or one more packet of the M6 Rift Cert that we're going to use. And we're just going to throw it. Jake's here. Hey. And he's having Mustang problems, but we can go into that after. It's a later problem. Yeah, but we're going to throw the front one on, doing the same alignment thing as last time, and take the corner piece, line it up with this right here, and then drill one in the corner, drill one over here, and then drill all the other ones, and we'll be good to go. Rear, oops. Rear's all good too. This, this still needs to be cut out, but that'll be whatever. We're just going to mount it on and draw the holes first and that should be sweet so we're gonna get going i'm gonna try to set up the gopro real quick and just do a little time lapse thingy maybe but we'll see catch you guys after S cap or something over here to line it with yeah so it's a little farther down where you're going with it i think it goes more that way Alright, 
So what Jake is doing, he just drilled out this with the bigger bit. I don't know the size off the top of my head. He just took the file, he's just smoothing out the edges. Other one, we just kind of sent the uh, rivet on and it covered it, so it's fine. Yeah. Doesn't matter either way. So, took the M6 rivet, screwed it on, you get it tight over there, and then press in, good to go. Yeah, we're not really sure how that works. <laughs> That's how it looks. Looks like a gothic kid's jean pants. It does. Now we just need a nose ring. I might actually try it in. I'm not percent convinced. Okay. It does? Yeah, it does. Uh, my hole is just very Because I was just like, fuck, we do not need this again. <laughs> Nothing would probably piss me off more than having all M6s well. and then one M4. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, don't just hate I'm my like life. I'm so tempted to not do that to you. Yeah, no, I would hate my life. Please don't. <laughs> but fronts and rears are all drilled. These have to be drilled out a little bit more um, just for the rift certs. But all the holes are, except for one over here, just because. We needed it to, we're gonna have to put rip cert, rip cert, and then screw them all in here, and then have it fit flush, and then drill it out, because this one is needing like a lot of work, and we both weren't trying to flex it that hard, because it's probably gonna snap, so. But it's getting there, everything else is drilled, so. Just really close on some of these. That's because I cut further up on this one, yeah. than the other side too, so. Which Jack chose, it's a good point, is I was, What's nice was if you just did a driller through this, yeah, um, it, would. it would have ripped that metal eventually. Yeah. And now that you're using a rib cert, it's gonna pinch the metal surrounding it, it's gonna give it way more support. Yep. So that will actually help that scenario. So, that's looking good. Uh, yeah, Jake just went through with the bigger bit. So, I'll put rib certs in these, and then rear still needs the bigger bit, then this could be rib cert, and then the whole kit will be on. So that'll be cool. All right, so Jake figured out how to uh, operate the tool. Operate the tool properly. So squeeze like a man, and then hold it squeezed and just back it out. That's how they do it on the videos. But we tried this before, whatever reason. It well, didn't you know work. what it is? It's reverse thread. So when you start backing it off, it should stay tight. But if you don't tighten this all the way, uh, it will yeah. cause it to not like it counteracts. You're just spinning the same thing, and it's yeah. going like this. So it just never goes anywhere. So yeah, but I mean, tools figured out. That's yeah, good. Yeah, that's good. Good news. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do do. All right. So over here, some updates. Everything, all the rift certs and everything are in. So I'm just uh, the rear. I'm just gonna put all of these on. Uh, I'm just having to ream out these holes a tiny bit more, so this can go in nice and straight. So that's that. Um, this corner, I just put up one here here this hole still needs to be drilled and this one's holding it in but just with these three on uh, everything else is drilled and lined up anyway so it's fine um, now we can drill in through here and then this will be 100% good to go but I'm just gonna finish putting all these screws in or these nuts in and we'll be good all right rear is completely in on the real good um, so some of the fitment issue on the bottom is just because these tabs, I know it's dark, you can't see anything, but there's tabs in here that just need to be trimmed and actually tacked back. This will be tacked. Um, fitment up here is decent. You can probably stand down this body line. And this will sit a lot better. Same with this one here. And it's just this rear part's gonna suck because there's gap, 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 gap. This bottom part down here is there's some really solid big gaps. So we'll have to work on this. That's gonna be a lot of sanding. So just a lot of sanding in general. But looks really good. And she is wide. Super, super wide. So digging it, digging it. Uh, yeah, after Jake's done with drilling stuff, finish this last one and then we'll be good to go. Kit is fully mounted this weekend. Just like we said, so 
super excited about that. I'll show you guys once the front one's all drilled out. All right, yo. So, got the uh, last rift cert hole drilled out. Actually, it was this one. So, got this one drilled out. Sent this one in. Uh, I'm going to put the fender back on, make sure everything aligns. So I'm just going to keep it on. And unsure if we're going to cut it today or not. We'll see. Um, but otherwise, like, pretty much goal was to get the body kit and all the fenders and everything on this weekend like fully mounted up so that was accomplished it was sick thanks jake for the help as no always problem, girlfriend. the fenders and everything all on no you didn't they're on they're on half on no they're on Bolton? yeah every single one of them in. come on come check you can see all the gaps anyways so uh rocket bunny fenders are on both sides you can see all the body work here that's oh sorry yeah right there see all that that's gonna have to be worked to have it sit really nice um, down here too probably gonna cut right with this body line this bottom one and follow that all the way through figure out side cert situation later definitely gonna need some more primer because scuffed up a lot <laughs> but uh, Here's the rear, it's all in, same with this one, we'll cut out that, this line right here, keep that body line, work out something for the side skirt, this still needs to be cut out, this rust crap, other than that, this one is all bolted in too, looks super good, so that was it, take another quick look at the other side, but everything here is all bolted on this was the weekend goals we got done um it's gonna need a lot more work for sure but all the rift certs are in so she's for real now and uh i'll actually probably have to come wind these holes because i think they need it not sure check that but that is all for that wide body or rocket bunny kit is on soon to be very custom and yeah pretty productive weekend um, didn't do the fiberglass stuff today I'll probably do that during the week just lazy and need to use the two big bench chairs over there as like a table and we're using that for games and all that kind of stuff but that's it appreciate you guys watching hope you guys like the progress so far uh, like comment sub share and I'll catch you on the next one deuces I'm the, I'm the